Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today, I will show you some methods to fix error code CE1077500 on PS5. Method 1. Stay up to date. The PS5 system software update is important because it helps to fix bugs and improve the performance of your PS5. So, if the CE1077500 error code is caused by an incompatibility issue or even system file corruption, updating the PS5 system software can resolve that. Otherwise you should check for a game's updates and version manually. Outdated versions can be problematic, and it's wise to resolve the issue sooner rather than later. Method 2. Restoring the licenses. Going to the settings menu of your console. Go to users and accounts and select it. Select other. Select restore licenses. Once done, try check if error code CE1077500 is gone. Method 3. Power cycle your PS5. To do this, you have first to turn off your console by holding the power button for 3 seconds. The power indicator will blink for a few moments before turning off. After that, unplug the PS5 from the wall power outlet. Disconnect any peripheral attached to the PS5 including the DualSense controller. Leave your PS5 in this state for 5 minutes or so. After that, Plug the PS5 power cable back into the wall outlet. Only connect the DualSense controller to your PS5. Turn on the PS5 while the DualSense controller is connected to it, and wait for the PS5 system software to completely load. If the game, app that causes the problem is installed on an external storage, connect it to the PS5 and wait until it's recognized and enabled. Otherwise, if it's installed locally, don't connect anything yet to the PS5 and try to launch it before anything else. Method 4. Clean the disk carefully and try again. If your version of PS5 does not use disks, please skip this method. Your disk might be dirty and need cleaning. Use a little alcohol with a piece of fabric and clean it gently and softly until you see it has become clean enough. If you notice some major scratches on the lower surface of the disk, then it's a strong indication that the disk is damaged and you have to get a new one. Otherwise, you need to use the disk on another PS5 and check whether it works fine or not. If it does, then the PS5 system might have some corrupted, damaged files that must be repaired. Method 5. Move your game, app to the internal storage. If the game, app that is having problems is not installed on external storage, please skip this method. When the storage device on which the game, app is installed is malfunctioning, defective, you'll get errors when trying to run that game, app. In order to avoid any troubles concerning the functionality of your external HDD on PS5, just move that game, app to the local internal SSD and try to launch it from there. Method 6. Free up space on PS5 storage device. The PS5 console uses an SSD as its main internal storage device, and as savvies know that SSDs need between 15 to 20% of their storage capacity to be free in order to operate flawlessly at maximum performance. Therefore, if your PS5 internal storage is almost full or has less than 15% of free space, you should consider freeing it up for the new game you want to install and to avoid PS5 error code CE1077500 in the future. Method 7. Rebuild PS5 Database. To do that, you have first to turn off your console by holding the power button for 3 seconds. The power indicator will blink for a few moments before turning off.
Once the console is off, press and hold the power button again. Release it after you hear the second beep. One beep will sound when you first press, and another 7 seconds later. Connect the controller with the USB cable and press the PS button on the controller. Select Clear Cache and Rebuild Database, then select Rebuild Database, which starts automatically upon confirmation of selection. Once the PS5 database rebuilding is complete, you'll have to restart PS5 and wait for it to finish rebooting and see whether that has fixed error code CE107891-6 or not. Method 8. Reinstall the game, app. From the home menu, highlight the game you want to delete, press the options button, then select delete. If the game isn't on your home screen, go to Game Library. Go to Installed, then highlight the game you want to delete. Press the Options button, and select Delete. During the process, don't forget to restart your console. The fix works because every time you download the game, it includes the latest version. It can take up to several hours depending upon the size of the game. For fast downloads, make sure you have a reliable internet connection. Finally, Factory reset the PS5. This is the last resort when PS5 error couldn't be fixed with any of the above methods. You will need then to factory reset the PS5. For those unfamiliar, a factory reset is exactly what it sounds like. It resets your PS5 console to its default factory settings as if you were opening it and booting it up for the very first time. You'll lose all of your game data, save data, and personal account data that are stored on the machine. Basically anything on the system's hard drive will be erased. Because of this, it's recommended you first back up any files you don't want to lose for good. You can do this by transferring your files to an external hard drive or using the PS Plus cloud service. Once you have properly backed up your files, you can begin the factory reset. Thankfully, Sony makes this fairly easy on the PlayStation 5. That's it guys, hope this is helpful. If you have any further questions, please feel free to get in touch or leave a comment. Thanks.